time for another G.I. Joe toy review. And I do apologize for this coming out so late. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Allergies. Just had a bunch of stuff happened over the weekend with electronics. So I had to reset everything and change passwords. And just a big mess. Uh, still dealing with it, but... Uh, just thought I'd take a little bit of time out, not only to decompress, but to talk with you guys. Uh, these videos are pretty important to me, and uh, I know they are to you guys, too, uh, just from your comments. And keep them coming. I love them. I love the comments coming in. And requests. Please keep those coming, too. So today, we're going to be looking at a pretty special action figure. One I have been wanting for a very long time, but the cost of the, this particular figure is quite expensive. So um, I promised myself if I ever found him at a good deal or at a good price, I would purchase it. So that is what had happened. And again, I want to thank... All my recent donated uh, donors um, and to all the people who've contributed to this channel uh, it thank you very much is it has just been incredible with the amount of donations that I've received it's not so much in qual quantity but I, I'm getting some real quality stuff things that I thought I would never own personally and it, it goes to show that there are some big hearts out there and especially with the G.I. Joe community we are a strong group of people and uh, very knowledgeable and helpful and quite generous and I, I can't thank you guys enough for that. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at one of my well like I said, one of the figures that I've I've been chasing down, but also a favorite. Um, when I I had forgotten all about this guy, um, even existing until I really started getting back into collecting GI Joe and heavily collecting. Um, I came across him on eBay when I was searching for. Uh, Star Brigade and th that figure is the 1994 uh, Cobra Black Star. He was released in 94 and discontinued that's for 95. He is a part of the 13th series. The original retail price was $3.49. Now I do remember seeing Black Star in the past uh, when I was working at the mall in this neat little to uh, restaurant called Hot Sam, they, we, we sold hot pretzels, lemonade, nachos, and sodas, of course. And uh, I, I worked across from you know, KB Toys. They were on the other side of the mall. And um, they... I befriended a lot of the staff there and um, so much to the point where they would give me an employee discount of 10% so I would go there and buy my Joes and this was in 94 so I was 19 at the time just a year out of high school and um, I was really starting to get back into collecting and 95 I tapered off collecting after I got married but I'd still p pick up one or two every once in a while and um, so I do recall seeing Black Star on the shelf and I passed him up for the bat the battle armor android trooper it was also a part of Star Brigade but I needed a bat I didn't have the uh, version one of the bat so I thought well Black Star, he's not not as cool as the Bat and these other figures, so I'm going to forego purchasing him and go with the Bat, which I never saw Star uh, Black Star again. 
and he is uh, quite popular and quite expensive on the aftermarket. Uh, I pulled him up on eBay and did not find very many of them, like six of them. So uh, that goes to show you the, the popularity and the prices are a little bit nuts on him. Not as bad as some of them, but he's, he's up there. So I purchased this Black Star the other day um, when I was at my favorite vintage toy store, uh, Toy Anxiety in Phoenix. I uh, went there to uh, look for some uh, Buzzbore missiles for a friend of mine and to also pick up birthday presents for my daughter. Um, her birthday's coming up pretty quick, her 18th birthday. So I bought her a lot of um, Star Wars. Star Wars stuff. Um, she watches the channel, but uh, I, I don't want to review reveal exactly what I got her. So, um, what kind of GI Joe fan am I if I didn't look deep into what was for sale? So behind his his display cases, he has a pegboard. And I was reaching across and flipping through all the action figures, and I thought I saw Black Star. So I hurried and went through, and I kept my fingers crossed and was praying, please be be at a decent price. And my goodness, yes, he undersold the rest of the action figures, or he undersold eBay by fifty percent. And I snatched him up and. That's how I got Black Star. So let's go ahead and take a look at this really awesome action figure. Alrighty, here he is. Black Star and all of his awesomeness. Let's take a look at his accessories real quick. Um, he came with this two-part backpack. Um, pretty interesting. It separates, of course, um, this front part is actually a seat. Look at the detail on that. Uh, he is supposed to attach to it and then this is a flying um, missile launcher. Um, you could also work it that way. Uh, the missile launcher itself is pretty cool. Can you see all the detail on that? Well, these look like booster rockets of some sort, but great, great detail on it. The missiles are identical. Your standard black missile, they slot in one way. Let's go ahead and put it in there. And it fires quite well. Springs are very good in this still. He did come with a laser pistol. Uh, very nice laser pistol. And of course, the figure stand. Now, Black Star has his pictures are a little bit different on his file card than what the action figure portrays and I'll show you the file card when we read it but um, he's wearing this mirror gold color suit he has these orange or these green shin guards which go down to his boots and it looks like there's some mechanical devices on there and his boots are black he has these nice wrist gauntlets and his upper body armor is really cool. He has a whoops, green hose that runs through the back here and two additional black hoses which I'm glad they left them black. They kind of toned down the green on him and these hoses also run to this really cool looking uh, device on the back I'm imagining it's life support and on the back of his helmet he has hoses that go around to the front to the face mask green goggles and I like the silver uh, 
there we go the silver display not really a display but the silver armor here on the front really cool action figure very clean uh, quite intimidating and I could really see why he's popular uh, I really <laughs> use really too much but it I am so glad that I finally have this action figure here's his file card you can see the difference between the action figure and the file card he has this leg armor here on his thighs that on the file card was painted green and his boots are black but uh, you can see they were green as well green in that marigold color so I'm glad they changed it up oops sorry about that all right so let's go ahead and read his his file card here so looking at the picture uh, it says the the black star combat flight suit that's the marigold color suit he's wearing the missile fire uh, firing a black star blaster but it's pointing at his pistol and the internally linked biotubing which is the green tube I pointed out his code name is Cobra Black Star elite space pilot file name unknown primary Cobra specialty it's kind of goofy uh, is elite space pilot uh, that's redundant secondary Cobra specialty tactical squad leader uh, it reads Cobra Commander has formed an alliance with Black Star Forces, a secretive legion of space pilots whose origins remain unknown. This particular Black Star is the best pilot out of the Black Star ranks. He, like all Black Stars, behaves as if space was a natural habitat. They have incredible agility in zero gravity zones, climbing planetary craters with ease and instinctively avoiding asteroid belts while engaging in stellar dogfights, instinctively dodging asteroids. Uh, I don't see how that's a special talent. It's called self-preservation. Uh, you see a huge rock flying at you, you're going to get out of the way, right? So further on, it says no one has ever seen Black Star up close and rumors have spread throughout the galaxy that they might not even be human. Well, how about that? They might not even be human. Um, so how did Cobra Commander uh, meet these guys? That would have been something really interesting to uh, find out how he met them but it says absolutely nothing black star wasn't in any form of media or cartoons uh, neither was there a second copy of him made not a modern version or anything so how did he how did cobra commander meet these guys um, that would have been something nice to put in a file card so Anyway, I love this figure. I do highly recommend that you guys get him. Now it's time for my favorite segment, Byron's Gripes. There isn't very much to gripe about as far as how many are out there. Uh, like I said, there were only six available right now. Uh, this is just from eBay alone. Uh, I just use eBay as a reference. I'm not doing it to pick on them or the sellers. Uh, just a little disclaimer for those who are uh, just joining in. Uh, I won't do anything like that. Uh, it's not what this channel or myself are about. So you want a loose and complete Black Star, $55.99 to $57.99. Uh, the 55 I'm going to have to call deal of the day. It is very pricey, but uh, 
according to the rest of his stuff, it's the cheapest one. His backpack and launcher and figure stand, 1995. The pack with the launcher, the seat part, that's considered the backpack, 1499. Just the action figure, no accessories, 60 bucks really 60 bucks just for that and I have that is a that's been up for a long time I remember seeing this several months ago uh, and the guy still hasn't sold it he won't budge on the price because I tried negotiating with him before and he just will not budge on the price he may have found this on Oak Island while he was digging treasure with the other guys so it's very valuable Vikings left it there I think whatever <laughs> carded $64.99 $74.99 that is pricey but right in the ballpark uh, a lot of Star Brigade are inexpensive given who they are of course you know, that sets sets the price he's up there a ways um, the aliens are the ones that are really expensive uh, so you know, if you want to buy the buy the aliens, uh, be prepared to dig deep into your pockets. You want one that's incomplete. Fifty nine oh five. Uh, his rocket launch. His rockets are standard. Um, a lot of Joes came with them. They're a buck ninety nine to two ninety nine each. The stands, I've seen sell anywhere from one dollar up to five or six dollars, depending on what they are. Uh, I wouldn't pay that much for a, a figure stand unless I absolutely had to complete that figure for one reason or another. I just buy aftermarket stands. Um, you know, Small Joe's so far produces the best figure stands. They, they fit exactly right. There are some out there that um, are going four for twenty. Um, no, twenty you get yeah, four dollars for twenty stands. I confused myself. I'm sorry. They are um, from China. They're actually GI Joe, but they don't quite fit the figures, and you could crack the heels. But what I do is I just take a pair of pliers and twist around the the peg just a little bit, and that grinds it down enough to fit into the action figure's heel. So um, there you have it. Uh, I, so I want to keep this video a little bit short. Uh, I have to get back to trying to get all these problems fixed. But I thought I'd shoot this out to you. So again, I want to thank all the people who are making their generous contributions to this channel. I greatly appreciate it. Um, if you want to become a channel supporter, you could either donate any dollar amount into my coffee account that's in the description as well as my mailing address if you want to donate uh, a toy or anything to this channel uh, that would also put you up there with the channel supporters uh, it's not necessary but it does help out um, as you know toy collecting is pricey and uh, all of this has come out of my pocket save for the few donations that I I received and uh, I would like to keep this channel going and I definitely have plenty to, to review but um, help is always welcome and if you want to leave me an email my email address will be down at the bottom as well and you can follow me on Twitter at Joe Motion Videos 82 so that's everything guys um, once again I apologize for it being short today but uh, that I have a lot I need to get done. So thanks again for tuning in. Uh, also, don't forget to be kind to everyone, especially animals. Uh, they know nothing but unconditional uncon love. So this has been Joe Motion Videos 82 signing off. You guys have a fabulous day. We'll see you next week for another G.I. Joe toy review. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.